Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome back to Motor Solutions with myself Zuhal Ashok and my guest Mr. Abdul Samad Chaudhuri Suhel and we are uh, discussing um, uh, future of diesel cars and accurate uh, insurance disclosures. Now, Amra Biroti te dawar age, Amra Jegula niya discuss kolam the Suhel bhai apnar exon caller amader ke call kore silen, unhi the bollen the gari te ashole recently unhi deta hoto shunesen. The car is fire cause hoy, keno hoy, fire 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 ekhi karon ne hoy. Shul bhai deta bolle deta shole normal na, deta very abnormal, deta very rare. So very rare car jodi jodi mane maintain kore na shob shobai riti moto. Deta shole egula huar kono mashole kono karon nai, egula ne worry worry kora na dorkhan nai. So thank you and mano hoy ekdon kala line asen dekhi kaise line hai. Hello kala assalamualaikum. I tell you, I think uh, we lost this caller. Uh, no problem. Caller can always come back. Uh, so, I'll buy um, disclosure, uh, insurance disclosures uh, is uh, uh, very important. For example, uh, sometime uh, even the if, if if anybody have any health issue as well, even if they have a running policy and if they have a health issue, suddenly uh, that they. Uh, believe that it could affect uh, their driving ability even that they have to uh, report to their insurance company don't they They're absolutely uh, this is something that a lot of people don't understand only thing we see it's how, what's my premium is how much am i paying uh, monthly and is this fully come with third party mm. third party fire and theft that's the only few things we look at it but we don't look at all the small pr prints that are there that needs to be uh, uh, read clearly and you know you need to follow one of the most important things for for argument's sake you've suddenly uh, been told by your doctors that you've developed uh, uh, diabetics for argument's sake yes. high blood pressure you've got some heart uh, issues which is uh, these are major signs that could cause a serious health issue uh, this needs to be this needs to be opened up this needs to be uh, disclosed to the insurance company F and also DVLA mm -hmm. needs to know what's going on because mm -hmm. all of the terms and condition of their licenses also says if you develop any health issues uh, that this you need to, you must inform the DVLA yeah. because if you don't do it the insurance company can turn out and say we're not going to pay you you have s these issues in fact when it comes to a big payout they look at all these things yeah. they will even look into your medical record to make sure that you know whatever you've dis in fact they will find every possible way not to pay you that's number one. Number two, they will look at everything that makes sure everything you said is correct. So it's very, very important. And they don't actually uh, look into all these details when you actually buy purchase. the policy. No, when you purchase not. it, they don't actually look when into you that. Purchase it, Whatever, based on yeah. your uh, basically statement of truth, you know, you, they just provide you the that's insurance it, most of the it, time. That's, it. That's, the, that's the way it goes. But when it comes to payout, that's when they scrutinize every single point and they will find a way not to pay you. And you know, if there is anything they will find, they will pick on that, cancel your policy, and they said we're not going to pay out because you did not inform us this particular information. And also, your license that you hold from DVLA, don't think that's also perfectly okay. If you developed uh, an issue, which is even um, uh, people who has issue like sleep apnea, mm -hmm. even if it's stuff like this, which has been um, diagnosed by the doctors of the hospital, this also needs to be uh, told to the DVLA. If you don't tell them, then you can get yourself in real serious trouble. Thank you, Silvai. Uh, many more to uh, talk about, actually, yes, uh, when it comes to uh, disclosure. Uh, we'll talk more. Let me take another call. Hello, Kalar. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. I am a student of the Mercedes C class. I am a drive for about 20 mile clock to shake. Okay. To my reason, 20 mile shake for a breaking or shake for a break or a shake. I am a car is a speed of 20 tahle, but 20, 22 or 20 tahle, the most shake for a guy. At Ufre? Okay. There's, there's several issues. One can be suspension, second can be uh, the shock observer or the suspension joint and the most common one is the tire. The tire can be warped and... Uh, tire almost new, about a couple of months ago I mean for a uh, Okay, the problem was there for before or after? 
recent amagas dura for about 2 weeks time 2 okay. 3 weeks. it really doesn't mean if the, even if the tires is brand new that can mm -hmm. still have uh, problems with the tires so many it could be manufacturer's fault the sidewall collapse and it created warp in it so when you're driving especially around about 20 25 miles per hour you will get a vibration run through the steering wheel in fact whole car will will vibrate so tire That's right whole car manasta gari you shake it's definitely then vibrate. it's definitely towards the tire Check the tire. Every, old, every tire, old tire ni mano. No, there will be one particular tire. Ekta tire mo jisho moshasa se jar karone. This is where the problem is. As I said, yeah, even brand new, brand new tire hoy, it doesn't mean it's perfectly okay. Uh, this can okay. also have an issue. My for issue aito for after. Yes, definitely. Even within, within a week or bitre issue aito for. But even mano hota ni suspension ba inno kisu nae. Suspension check korte to doshmi lagto nae. But tire tire or check korte shomo lagto nae. So just get anyone to halibul amar suspension or check kori doka. Aar amar tire tire right correction ase ni shape ase ni apne check koro kar. After this apne korte aur bazudi apne nize tire shape bustas faro inna. Tire tire koi baje kuno ekta workshop ge tire tire balance kori dito. Balance mai the machine was able kuno shomo shata hale. Thik ase. उटर Now, they, when they go to a, 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 a new house, uh, sometimes they don't change straight away. Uh, they take time. Again, you know that could be a problem as well. Of course, of course. If you anything, you, you know, you move in your residence address, then you must let them know straight away. If it's about you know you're you're going somewhere temporarily, that's a different story. As long as you have a permanent address, and if this address that wherever you're moving to, mm -hmm. it's going to be a permanent address, you mm -hmm. must let them know. Yeah. If you don't do it, you breach of contract. You know your insurance invalid. Uh, ins insurance invalid, and there's another thing. Uh, uh, a lot of people, obviously, there was a caller before who actually asked also a question as well about uh, insuring having two cars in one policy. Now, uh, sometimes uh, uh, f just to keep the premium down, or you know, just it's, po it's more convenient to have one policy in one household. Sometimes that we see there's uh, one policy holder, and they have. Uh, one or two named uh, two driver on that on on that policy, which is absolutely fine. Uh, you can have a, a named driver; it's not a problem. But in terms of uh, fully comprehensive insurance, uh, e most of the time it allows uh, the policyholder uh, to drive any other vehicle with the permission of that actually owner of that particular car. Now, uh, the uh, named driver actually uh, misunderstands. Sometimes they also. Believe because they also got a comprehensive insurance and they are also allowed to drive any other car as well. What would you say to this? Well, I mean that obviously you need to understand the difference between the name driver and and the main driver, mm -hmm. and and a lot of people don't understand just just because you've got your name added to it that yes you can drive it doesn't automatically gives you that comprehensive right for you to drive any cars. So there is a two right, and this is what you need to understand when you. Take your policies out. In fact, you can discuss this when you take this policy out. Look, this the name driver that uh, I want to add on that vehicle. I also want that person to be fully comprehensively covered if they drive another car. So this sort of thing can be added into it with a small premium. But we tend to keep it, uh, keep the premium low and do not disclose those uh, key information. Very important. Uh, so I will say, make sure that's happened. And also, uh, when you obtain an insurance policy. Please make sure you give the correct information about your job titles, your professions, because if you don't, that can also hunt you a later stage. Very, very important. That's very important as very well. Important, uh, yeah. That's very important. Uh, the, uh, this, uh, uh, a lot of people actually believe that sometimes they not believe actually they ha do have uh, some uh, uh, risky uh, profession. Uh, in terms of insurance companies, they f obviously take some proportion as risky yes. uh, for drivers. So there's always a high uh, premium for those kind of profession. However, a lot of people, um, when they find out for that reason, the premium is going uh, high, 
um, they always change the uh, profession. They put something else, you know, I mean, they change it completely. And then uh, they don't actually realize, nobody knows what's going to happen. Because when you're on the road, uh, some people think, okay, I'm a very experienced driver, nothing will happen to me, you know, and I can get away. But they don't know what's coming next. You know, they right. don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Very you know. true. Yeah, and not only that, knowingly, what you're, they're paying. They're paying the premium, regardless how much less you're paying for that. But you holding a piece of paper doesn't actually mean anything. I agree. I completely okay. agree. You, you entered by paying the money to a business, which insurance company, is, they are business. So you're paying a company to take your liability if anything happens to you. But you are the one actually giving them the chance not to take that responsibility. Although they're taking the money from you, but they're legally, they're saying, well, we are I, not I just want to give you a small example on this. If you take a... Um, an insurance policy for your property, you're not <laughs> just covering for the sake of the legislation. You're covering because if something goes wrong, you want to make sure that insurance policy pays you for this property. Exactly the same way, but we have big misconceptions here. A lot of us who wanted to keep their premium down, what they tend to do is this. If there is an authority checks, like a police checks or uh, the cameras issue, that you know everything is fine, which is brilliant. But that's not why that's we not the obtain reason, that's not the, the policy. Reason why we the pay. reason we obtain the policy, so in case of an accident, in case of an issue, make sure you're covered and someone else is going to take care of the expenses that come in. But if you do not disclose those key information, I've seen, I've seen some serious stuff happening yes. and people have lost many things. So I just hope everyone uh, take notes on those key information. Very important and it's for your best. Thank you. Yes. And... Uh, there's another thing that we also, it's good uh, to make it clear as well, even the insurance company knows uh, the certain areas, obviously they know, they obviously highlighted the certain areas as high risk. And not only that, uh, from their record, uh, now they also know the people from which background and which area, they actually don't disclose the uh, correct information. Insurance companies are actually aware of that as well. And this is why to start off with, um, uh, it's, uh, it's good to say as well, um, um, I shouldn't be saying it, uh, sometimes even the name started to make a difference uh, because uh, same age, uh, same like in you know, I mean license, same like an amount of conviction or whatever or without any conviction. Uh, two, because of the name difference, two persons will have two different insurance codes. Why is that? Because the insurance company knows because this person is probably not telling the truth. Because that's how they look at it. And I, there's I, a debate, a big debate going I, on. I would moment, not make any comment on but this. But I can see your point there. But one thing I will say regarding, uh, regarding the disclosure on this and, and the area that you've mentioned, a lot of people also tends to do that when the insurance company asks you, where would you keep the vehicle overnight? And most of us say, in the garage. In the garage. Where is the and garage? what is, is the no garage? garage? That's number one. And number two, even if there is a garage, the car is never kept in the garage mm -hmm. because you've got everything else is packed in there. So just to keep the premium down, you keep in it, you're saying it's in, you know, it's actually parked in the garage. And that's but majority but of the time see, that's false. But can you see, for that person, obviously, this person is actually doing that. But, but the insurance company knows. But the person next door is probably is not basically giving any false uh, details. They are possibly telling everything, like, you know, I mean, say, uh, truth. But they're also getting, uh, obviously, uh, p uh, penalized for that person as well because of that area that he lives in. So it's affect even the good people as well. So my advice is to everybody, uh, when it comes to basically uh, buying insurance policy, um, please uh, try your best um, to maintain one thing, which is uh, tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. That's the only way you can basically drive peacefully, you're fully covered, even if it costs you a couple of hundred pounds more, please, you know, have that, you know, set your mind. If you are going to be driving on UK's road, you need to drive properly and you need to be protected and other people, vulnerable people also needs to be protected and your property, the car that you're driving, that needs to be covered as well. A lot of are you actually having car, cars on finance. The finance cars actually it's not your property until you clear the finance for all the finance payments, which is a, a third party's property and that needs to be fully protected as well. Otherwise, if your insurance company refuses to pay you, out for the any, anything happens to that car then again you're going to end up also 
uh, with a big uh, large bill as well. Now, so I'll buy, uh, briefly in um, a few seconds if you want to say uh, a few uh, words. Uh, well, I just want to say uh, we talked uh, quite a lot today, <coughs> uh, especially with the uh, disclosure. We talked about our future of diesel uh, of motor engine. I, uh, I, you know, I always believe in one thing, and honesty is the best policy, and uh, nothing is more valuable than time. Even if it costs a little bit more on your premium, make sure you disclose everything uh, to the insurance company, so because that will give you peace of mind, and trust me, there's nothing better than having a peace of mind, even if it costs a little bit more. Uh, stay safe. You know, this weather hopefully will maybe last for another week, and week 10 days, and this, this is all going to be over. You know, drive safely, and uh, we hope to speak to our viewers at the next program from me. And uh, guys, take care. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Sohel Bhai. Doshok, aske amader shole shomoyshash hoye gelo. Amader ei program agami program dekhar amontron janiye. Amader program ta asker moto ekane shesh korbo. Apna agami kal ke program ta repeat dekhte parbe n pasta shomoy. So, uh, inshallah, I'm a Ragami program. The program is a program. I'm 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 a